If you traded or earned crypto in 2024, this video might save you thousands of dollars and even protect you from an IRS audit. Because today, I'll walk you through exactly how to file your 2025 crypto taxes in the USA, step by step, using Coinly, the most trusted crypto tax software on the market. I'll explain the latest IRS rules on digital assets, how to report your capital gains, how to handle staking, DeFi, NFTs, and of course, how to generate Form 8949 and Schedule D ready to upload to TurboTax or hand to your accountant. Stay till the end. I'll show advanced tips like tax loss harvesting, avoiding audit red flags, and even how you can make extra money using Coinly's affiliate program. Let's get started. Why Crypto Taxes Matter and the IRS Digital Asset Rules Crypto might feel anonymous, but to the IRS, it's not invisible. The IRS officially classifies digital assets, including cryptocurrency, stable coins, and NFTs as property, not as currency. That means, every time you sell, swap, trade, or spend your crypto, you create a taxable event, either a capital gain or a capital loss. Even using crypto to buy coffee counts as a disposal for tax purposes. At any time during the year, did you receive, sell, exchange, or otherwise dispose dispose of a digital asset? If you check yes on that question in Form 104, the IRS knows you're in the crypto space. That's where accurate reporting matters, because mistakes can trigger audits or penalties. And starting in 2026, crypto platforms will be required to issue Form 1098DA, just like brokers do for stocks, giving the IRS even more transparency into your transactions. So 2025 is the last year where your personal tracking really matters, before the system gets tighter. Key crypto tax concepts you must know. Capital gains and losses. Whenever you sell or trade crypto, your profit or loss, cost basis is what you originally paid, including any transaction or gas fees. Example, bought one each for $2,000, sold at $3,000, gain $1,000 taxable profit. If you held that each for less than 12 months, it's a short-term capital gain taxed at your ordinary income rate, anywhere from 10 to 37%. But if you held for more than 12 months, it's long-term capital gain taxed at 0%, 15%, or 20%, depending on your income bracket. Losses are also valuable, they can offset gains and up to $3,000 of other income each year. Anything extra carries forward. Holding period type tax rate. Example, 12 months. Short term, 10%, 37%. Trading BTC multiple times, 12 months long term, 0%, 15%, 20%. Holding E each crypto income. Now let's talk about earning crypto from staking rewards, mining, airdrops, yield farming, referral bonuses, or getting paid in crypto. At the moment you receive the crypto, the fair market value in USD is counted as ordinary income. Example, you receive 0.05 BTC from staking on July 1, worth $3,000 that day. That's $3,000 in taxable income. If you later sell it for $3,500, the extra $500 becomes a capital gain. Cost basis methods. Cost basis methods determine which coins you're selling first. Common ones are FIFO, first in, first out. LIFO, last in, first out. HIFO, highest in, first out. Specific identification average. Cost, Coinly supports all of them. But for US tax safety, FIFO is recommended because it's IRS friendly and widely accepted. Rumor says by 2026, FIFO might become mandatory. Wash sales and tax loss harvesting. Currently the wash sale rule, which disallows claiming a loss if you rebuy the same asset within 30 days, doesn't apply to crypto. But that could change soon. Example, you gained $10,000 from selling ET, but lost $7,000 from SOL. Selling the SOL locks in that 7K loss and reduces your taxable gain to 3,000. Holding period. Holding period starts the day after you acquire crypto and ends on the day you sell or exchange it. Even one day can make a difference between a 37% and 15% tax bracket. Gathering your transaction data. Before using any crypto tax software, gather all your transaction data. You'll need every trade, swap, and movement across all exchanges and wallets. Step 1. List all platforms exchanges. Coinbase, Binance US, Kraken, Gemini, Crypto.com wallets, Metamask, Trust Wallet, Ledger, Trezor, Blockchains, Ethereum, BSC, C, Solana, Polygon, DeFi and NFT platforms, Uniswap, OpenSea, Blur, PancakeSwap, Aave, Compound. Step 2. Export CSV or connect via API. Most exchanges let you export trade history as CSV or Excel. For Coinly, API Sync is even easier. It fetches everything automatically. Step 3. Clean and verify data. Check for duplicates, missing timestamps, or internal transfers. Mark those as transfer between own wallets, not taxable. Choosing cost basis and accounting methods. In Coinly, you can choose your accounting method in settings. Select FIFO, LIFO, or HIFO depending on your strategy. But once you pick one, stay consistent across all assets for the entire year. Changing methods mid-year can cause serious reporting errors. 
Using Coinly, setup, import, and sync. Create Coinly account. Go to coinly.com. Use my affiliate link in the description to sign up. You'll also unlock discounts on your first report. Connect exchanges and wallets. Add exchanges via API keys. Add wallet addresses. Coinly automatically tracks blockchain transactions. Coinly supports 800 plus exchanges, 50 plus blockchains, and over 10,000 tokens. Sync data. Click sync now. Coinly will pull your entire transaction history, identify internal transfers, and match them to prevent double counting. This feature alone saves hours and ensures accuracy. Review gains, losses, and income in Coinly. Capital gains. Under tax reports, row gains. You'll see short-term versus long-term breakdowns. Click any transaction to review cost basis, fees, and realized gain. Income. In the income tab, you'll see staking rewards, airdrops, mining payouts. Check that Coinly recognize them with correct USD values. Adjust errors. If something looks off, like missing cost basis, edit the transaction manually. Audit trail. Finally, export your audit trail. This CSV shows every transaction detail in case the IRS ever asks. Generate IRS forms. Now that your data is clean, Coinly can automatically create your IRS tax forms. Go to Tax Reports, download IRS Report. It generates Form 8949 and Schedule D, listing each crypto trade's cost basis, proceeds, and gains. You can download PDF or CSV, both accepted by TurboTax, Tax Act, and H&R Block. Filing with TurboTax or Accountant. TurboTax Slack software. Open TurboTax. Row go to investment income, stocks, crypto, mutual funds. Choose import from partner platform. Select Coinly or upload the CSV. TurboTax auto imports your form 8949 entries. Answer yes to the digital asset question. Include any staking mining income under additional income. Using an accountant prefer professional help? Send your accountant the Coinly PDF, CSV, and audit trail. They'll merge it into your overall tax return. Deadlines. Federal tax deadline, April 15, 2025. To extend, file form 4868 before the deadline. But remember, extension is only for filing, not paying. Advanced tips. DeFi. NFTs. Staking. Tax loss harvesting. Tax loss harvesting. Don't wait till December 31st. Strategic loss selling can dramatically lower your tax liability. NFTs and collectibles. IRS may classify NFTs as collectibles taxed at up to 28%. If you mint or sell NFTs, treat them as separate capital assets. Buy transactions. Liquidity pool deposits, yield farming, and swaps often trigger taxable events. Even removing liquidity can realize gains or losses. Coinly now supports over 20 major DeFi protocols, making this much easier. Staking, mining, forks, airdrops. All these are income events at fair market value. Record exact date and USD price when received. Later when you sell, you pay capital gains relative to that initial value. Wash sale rule. Even though crypto isn't covered yet, legislation might include it soon. So avoid selling and rebuying within a few days on the same asset. Mistakes to avoid and audit triggers. Forgetting to check yes on Form 104 digital asset question. Missing microtransactions. Double counting transfers between your own wallets. Using different cost basis methods for different coins. Ignoring staking SAPTIC airdrop income. Not keeping exchange CSVs or wallet exports. Not reconciling totals before submission. IRS crypto audits are increasing. If you traded crypto in 2024, you'll need to report every transaction correctly on your 2025 tax return. And TurboTax actually makes this process much easier than most people think. In today's video, I'll walk you step by step through how to file your crypto taxes using TurboTax. Step 1. Start your tax return. Open TurboTax and select Start a new tax return. After entering your personal details, you'll reach the important digital assets question. Step 2. Go to Investment Income. Next, go to Federal, Wages and Income, Row Investment Income. Here you'll see options for stocks, crypto, mutual funds and more. Select Cryptocurrency. Step 3. Import your data from Coinly. TurboTax will now ask if you want to import your crypto transactions automatically. Choose SAC Import from Partner. SAC Select Coinly. From Coinly, download your TurboTax file, usually in TXF or CSV format. Upload it, and TurboTax will automatically fill in proceeds, cost basis, short-term and long-term gains, every disposal event, holding periods. This is the fastest and most accurate way to file crypto taxes. Step 4. Add crypto income. Staking, mining, airdrops. Crypto income is not treated as capital gains. It is taxed as ordinary income. So staking rewards, mining, airdrops, yield farming rewards, referral bonuses, all must be reported separately. Go to wages and income. Rumbra. Other income, 199 my sick, or additional income. Enter the USD value on the date you receive the reward. Step 5. Verify your totals. TurboTax will now generate a summary. Total short-term gains. Total long-term gains. Total crypto income. Adjusted cost basis. Capital loss carryover. 
Make sure there are no missing cost basis errors or duplicated transactions. Step 6. Add deductions and credits. Because crypto income may increase your taxable income, maximizing deductions is extremely important. TurboTax will guide you through common credits and deductions, like earned income credit, child tax credit, education credits, home office deductions, charitable contributions, medical expenses where applicable, so documentation is your best protection. See you in the next video, where I'll show you how to handle DeFi and NFT taxes inside Coinly in real time.